How's it going guys? I told you this would be quick. Uh, it's time for week four of Big Juice season four and we're here playing against Biff the Banana and the Tombridge Toxapexes. Good friend of mine. Um, so our team hasn't changed still but let's look at what we're up against. Mega Gallade, huge threat. Don Dozo, Volcarona, Gengar, Rebombi, Slacking, Bronzong, Rotom, Rhydon, and Sylveon. This is a really good team. It's a really good team. Volcarona is so deadly. I've done a lot of uh, sort of mock games with Biff for his matches, and that thing gets up a quiver dance. It's really hard to stop. So I really have to keep that in check. Uh, Rebombi could be um, could be pretty problematic with sticky webs. Um, I don't know if he'll bring it. Uh, slacking, you, you have to be ready for it. Um, even with the Truon, it just does a lot of damage on that one turn that it can attack. I think he's probably going to bring Glade, probably Volcarona, probably Gengar. Um, maybe Rebombi. Uh, maybe Sylveon and Slacking. Or Bronzong. I don't know. Um, but we'll find out. We'll find out. So, this is our team right here. So, we're starting with Choice, Specs, Dragapult. Pretty easy. We've got Clear Body because we don't want to get slowed down by uh, Sticky Webs. Uh, we've got Modest Nature because we outspeed everything that doesn't have a scarf on it anyway. Uh, just going max speed, max attack. Uh, so, we've got Hex, Flamethrower, U-Turn, and Draco. Uh, I was thinking about Thunderbolt for... Uh, possible Dondozu, but actually Draco does more than Thunderbolt, so it's not overly important. Uh, Flamethrower takes out uh, Terra Grass, Volcarona, or Bronzong. Uh, Hex just does a lot of damage. I've, I've got a few other uh, moves to support that. And, you know, Draco Meteor is just huge. Um, and then U-Turn is if I, if I get in a pretty sticky spot. Uh, then we've got Elder Goss coming back. This time we are going for the regenerator uh, rather than the cotton down. I was tempted to go cotton down, but I think I think Elder Goss will be good to kind of lean on a bit more defensively this time rather than just pivoting it in. So we've gone for some defensive EVs here. Citrus Berry. Uh, we're going Stun Sport. We're going to try a bit of paralysis in this game. It's just going to help out Dragapult with the hexing. Uh, Leech Seed, Giga Drain, and then Rapid Spin for Hazard Removal if we want it. Then the returning MVP from week three, Rotom Heat. Uh, we're putting the boots on its time. We do have an item. Uh, and we're going with Volt Switch, Pain Split, Thunder Wave, and Defog. I did really want to bring Overheat this time. Uh, because I think it would have gone into Bronzong pretty well. But uh, I think Defog, I was going to take... Um, I was going to have Rapid Spin on Great Tusk, which I didn't. Spoiler. Um, so I felt felt like I needed to put Defog on here. And again, I wanted Thunder Wave over putting damage. Then we have the Choice Scarf, Great Tusk. The Adam and Nature We've got Speed EVs just to outspeed uh, Robombi, I think, is the fastest on his team. Uh, so we've got Knock Off, because that hits uh, Bronzong, Gengar, Super Effective, Headlong Rush, Close Combat. And we've got Iron Head here for Sylveon. Then we have, I uh, felt, like felt like I had to bring Sableye against uh, the player that had Sableye last season. So here we go, Sableye here with the leftovers, Prankster, we're going Thunder Wave. See, so I made a bit of an error here. I was meant to, I, I wanted to put Taunt on here, but it was kind of an accident. I put Trick instead. Uh, we went Nightshade and Recover. And then lastly, we have Hydreigon coming back as well. Now this is a very interesting Hydreigon set. There's a lot of different EVs going on. Uh, is not your usual. We're going Adamant Nature, which you don't normally find. So let's break this down. Uh, so, 92 speed EVs means with Adamant Nature after one Dragon Dance. That's right, I'm going Dragon Dance High Dragon. Uh, we outspeed everything on his team. 
uh, max attack. And then I just sort of randomly spread the rest into bulk, a little bit more into special. And we've got the Roselli Berry. Uh, so this thing will take any berry type attack. Uh, unless it's boosted or a specs um, thing from any of his, from like a Sylveon or a Gengar or a Bombi. Um, and then we can go Acrobatics, which goes really hard into, into Gallade, into Volcarona, into Ribombi. Uh, I was going to have Crunch originally, that I realized Throat Chop uh, shuts down Sylveon. That's probably going to come in. Stops it going with a Hyper Voice on me. And then Steel Wing just lets me put a bit more damage into Sylveon. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into some games. So, game one. Let's see what happens. So... I leave Dragapult, he goes into Bronze Arm here. So I U turn out. Go into Voting here. Gets up rocks, which is a bit annoying. So we get paralyzed, that's good. He goes for Power Gem, that's gonna be annoying for me. At least we get the hazards. That we pain split up. But it's just not gonna not quite gonna do. So I Volt switch out. Go into the Great Tusk. Take that power gem quite easily. Go into Sylveon. I get a knockoff. And then we have to switch out again. So yeah, we get Tech Dome the Leech Seed. But we get Stun Spore. See, so we're already starting to spread that paralysis. It's just going to help Dragapult later on with some Hex. Giga Drain goes into Volcarona. Now this is why he gets a Quiver Dance up, and we miss a Stun Spore. Uh, so yeah, we sacrifice Rotom here with the clean switch. Get Sableye. He switches out, obviously. Get a little bit of a night shade. The high voice is just going to take Sableye out. Fair enough. So, this is where we bring in Hydreigon. This is where I don't think he knows at this point. No, he won't know at this point what this Hydreigon's going to do. Uh, so, I figure, like, even it, because I'm going to take a Hyper Voice, I can, I'm very safe to Dragon Dance here. But he goes for Protect, so it's even better, because next turn I can just get another one off. See, I take that on 25%. I go for Throat Chop, and then he can't Hyper Voice me. And because he doesn't, I, I figure the only attack he's going to have is Hyper Voice. It's going to be like Wish Protect and those sort of moves like that. So I'm pretty safe to get another Dragon Dance up here for whatever comes after uh, Sylveon. Go for Acrobatics. It's time we do a Steel Wing, and we take out Sylveon here. It brings out Slacking. This is very, it's a bit annoying. Unfortunately, with plus three, Throat Chop isn't quite enough to take out Slacking. But I think it's done its job pretty well. It's taken out Sylveon that thought it had a pretty easy ride with it. That headlong rush on the Great Tusk, just going to kill whatever comes in front of it, unless it was Bronze on the Leather Tape. Now that. Yeah, so that we know now that this Gengar is Choice Scar. He's outspeeding my Scar from the Tusk. That's not good for us. And this fight's not looking good for us, but we get kill on Bronze on here. We have to switch out, obviously, uh, because Slacky just is immune. But we get Paralysis. Ah, so he's a Lumberry. That's just going to be very annoying for us. Um, down the line. Obviously, if we want this thing to be paralyzed, we've got to hit it twice whilst it's hitting us. But Eldegoss gets a kill with the Giga Dream here. His interval Corona. I figure he's going to Quiver Dance. So I get the paralysis. We hit it this time. And we get a Leech Seed. I just want anything to support Dragapult a little more. And we get quite lucky with the switch there. Hex, but ultimately this Gengar is going to outspeed us, so 
so it kind of didn't matter in the end. Got the special defense drop, even if we paralyze it. See, we're not living in another one of those. So, unfortunately, we, we lose game one. Unfortunately. Uh, but that was very well played. There's some really tough stuff on this team to deal with. Slacking is really hard to play around, even with uh, even with Truant, because you know when it does attack, it's it's killing something most likely. Uh, this Scarf Gengar is a bit of a problem for us. Uh, Volcarona, Sylveon for Wish support. Um, yeah, it's very uh, it's going to be tough. So. Game two. Let's see what happens. So I lead with Great Tusk this time, and I make a bit of an error here. I go for a knockoff, and I do just over seventy percent. Uh, what I don't realise is Psychic just. Okay. <laughs> so turn one, I lose Great Tusk. Not exactly. Um, not exactly great. But we do similar to last time. We get. Thunderwave off. Yeah. Stealth rocked out. And Rotom switches out. Go into Dragapult. He gets the rock back up again, that's not ideal. You turn out into Rotom. So you got Boots. Switch into Elder Gust, because I know Elder Gust can take a hit from Slacking, surprisingly. Get the Citrus Berry off again. And we need to see the slapping. And see, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to take another one of those. Although I do have the generator. Ah, and quite luckily we get Volcor and paralyzed with the switch in. So we resist the fiery dance. Drake, it does quite a bit. And I wonder if I should have stayed in there and just taken out. Nope, I should not have. <laughs> Pain split, don't get a huge amount out of that. That turn is going to be a lot. But at least before Rotom goes down, we get the Stealth Rocks off the field. That is huge for us. Uh, so we go into High Dragon again. And, you know, it's, it's again safe for us to just Dragon Balance up at this point. And we stop the Sylveon. We go, oh, 1%. 1%. And that's... So we haven't used up the berry here, unfortunately. Um, so if we used up the berry, that would have been an easy kill for us. Uh, but 1% paralyzed, and we get the flame body on the high dragon, which really kind of cripples it for us. Uh, gets the quiver dance. The vault's going to switch out here. We get the throat chop good for us here. Yeah, so Steel Wing just doesn't do just doesn't do a huge amount. Uh, so High Dragon is not in the best position. So we switch it out. Yeah, Volcron gets back up to some good health. trying to get multiple protects just to get out of the dying, but another flamethrower is going to take out Sylveon, that's huge for us. Uh, yeah, so we have to switch out here. Shadow Sneak does a little bit. Yeah, so he's already switching, switching to what's already paralyzed, it's fair enough. We get a bit of damage off on the save like kicks. But at the moment, I feel like I do need to keep Sableye alive uh, for Paralysis Spit, especially with Gengar. Otherwise, it's just going to outspeed everything we've got. Uh, so, Sableye gets a kill. Very nice for us. Uh, we pop the Lumberry. So, if I have to do it again. Yes, yeah, so this time, this time it sticks. Cover up. And we get 
paralysis. Pretty good for us, so we switch out. And we just wear down the snapping from this point. Uh, okay, so he goes into Glade. Again, we get a bit of health up. Uh, but Glade has triple axle here. And yeah, that's gonna that's gonna kill Eldegoss. Probably gonna kill a lot of my team. So it goes into Yeah, I think my So my only my only way of winning at this point is getting power paralysis on all of these guys. Because Glade can Shadow Sneak, which is gonna kill Dragon in this range. And we need to slow down Gengar, otherwise it's gonna go through everything well. So I think at this point we've got to be careful. Um, I've just got to keep in mind I've got to sacrifice certain Pokemon, uh, particularly Rotom and Hydreigon, uh, to get those off. And that's the only way. And even if I do that, uh, whether it will come down to the late uh, Shadow Sneak, whether it gets the hit or the paralysis, I think that's the only way. So it, it's complete by chance that I will be able to scrape this. So Rotom takes that heat, which is actually really good for us. We go into Sableye, so we start getting this up. So now we can't really escape, so we go Thunder Wave. And we take Dazzling Green. And now we switch into Rotom. And we just let Rotom die. Uh, bring out Dragapult. Dragapult gets the kill. Uh, I'm going to delay. I know it's going to Shadow Sneak. I'm going to Hydreigon. Uh, I need a clean switch into the Sableye right now. So Hydreigon can just die. Get Paralysis up. That's all we can do. So Dragapult comes down, and it all comes down to this. And Glade gets the Paralysis. So we get the Hex. And we just about scrape game two um yeah it, it that was <laughs> ridiculously close both of these games have come down to the last pokemon now and uh yeah i would not have won that if it went the other way um otherwise he, he just absolutely had me there uh so that, yeah i was quite lucky i was fortunate to get that paralysis off um, otherwise it would have been a clean 2-0 uh, yeah, we see the see the reactions to that here. But no way. Um, yeah, alas, that takes us to game three, the decider. So this time he goes into Bronzong, and I lead Rotom. I just get the Thunder Wave on Bronzong straight away, straight away, just as normal at this point. Goes for a body press here. But we can switch out. Go into Elder Gas because I know we can take that. Uh, rapid spin up. Uh, we just start wearing this bronze on down a little bit. It can't do too much to us, although we get this special defense drop. That's not good. Now this time I don't rapid spin because I figure he's gonna switch into Gengar on that. And it just gets us back to and yeah, curse body happens, so we kinda have to switch out at this point. That does a lot of damage, unfortunately. That's just gonna mean uh, I didn't really want anyone else taking a bit of damage off Gengar right now. So Rotom is just gonna have to have a nice early death. At least I have Hazard Removal still on the Elder Goss, whether I can actually condition it to get the Stealth Box off or not, we'll see. So yeah, unfortunately Thunder Wave there. He goes into Slacking and a Nightshade. Well, well played, well played. Uh, so I get the Thunder Wave, I want to pop the Lumberry so later I can actually get it on. He misses the Play Raw. That's huge for us, actually. 
Uh, he goes into Glaive. I get a knockoff. And yeah, he <laughs> gets that switch in nice for us. So he gets the Justify boost. And it's not looking good. So we go into Eldegoss. And he can triple Axel us here. And unfortunately, that's just going to take Eldegoss out of the game. That's, at the moment, this is huge for Bic because he's taken out uh, my kind of two more defensive Pokemon. Uh, so I don't have a lot to fall back on uh, if things get tough now, which is annoying. So we're going to Drag Fox. I know I can take him out with Hex. I figure he's probably going to switch out. So I U turn. We go into High Dragon. And you know how it works. We're pretty safe to just get some Dragon Dancers up. He's going to go for a Wish. So I get another Dragon Dance up. Unless he goes Hyper Voice, I'm safe to Dragon Dance. Uh, we take that on 13%. Go for a Steel Wing. That was kind of risky. Because if you went for another Hyper Voice, then it would have been pretty bad for us. So we're going to have to go for a Throat Chop here. He bat and passes out. Uh, but, you know, we outspeed at this point, so... Yep, we take out Bronze Arm. That Shadow Sneak does 9%. That was so unfortunate. Um, so we're able to get the lead down with the Acrobatics. Now he brings in Slacking, because I think he realizes from game one that's kind of... Uh, Yeah, I know. I know it's not gonna kill, but I know I want to get a good bit of damage on slacking. I don't really want to switch anything else in at the moment. The high dragon did pretty well here, uh, but it does go down unfortunately. So we're going to Great Tusk, because I'm pretty safe to just headlong rush into anything that comes out. And the Gengar comes out, so that's the only thing that's gonna outspeed Dragapult, and that's out. So that is huge for us right now. Sylveon comes in, he protects, fair enough, but we're just going to go for another headlong, and we're just going to take out Sylveon, and it's looking pretty good for us at the moment. When Volcarona comes in, I figure he's going to Terra Grass here, so I know headlong rush isn't going to do a huge amount, so I switch out to Sableye, yeah, he goes for a Giga Drain, that would have taken out the Tusk really, so I get the Thunder Wave up. Sableye goes down. That's okay. That's absolutely okay. So Dragapult comes in here now. And we get Flamethrower up. It doesn't quite kill, but Giga Drain's not going to do it either. And so from here, Dragapult is just going to... Nope. Sucker Punch happens. From here, right down. So all three of these games came down right to the last Pokemon. Now you get close combat. And we've somehow, we've somehow scraped game three here. Honestly, I don't know how we, I don't know how we managed that. Uh, I, I will admit that this was just incredibly lucky for us. Um, this whole set, getting some paralysis off. Um, sure, it's sure it's part of the game. It's a strategy, but we were very lucky to actually get uh, the powers when we needed them. Um, Yeah, that was a, uh, just a little bit, just a little bit ridiculous. I want to see if it's update, if anything is updated on the, on the sheet here for us. Uh, okay, nothing's quite updated for week four, but we can look at week three. Uh, so from week three, Great Tusk on eight five, Dragapult is on ten three, Slow King is on six four. It's pretty good. Um, most of our guys have a kill, and I even Sableye, even Eldegoss has a kill. Both of them got some kills in this uh, set as well. High Dragon's picked up some kills now. Gastrodon, I think, is, is our only guy that hasn't uh, got points on the board at the moment. But you know what? That's pretty good for us. Um, so yeah, honestly, um, I, I feel like I probably didn't deserve to win that. Uh, fifth played really good um some of his pokemon are just really hard to prep against uh the scarf gengar the slacking uh the bronzong set was really annoying 
for Rotom and Great Tusk. Uh, there was just always pressure on us. And, you know, with that Volcarona and Galeed sitting in the back as well, it's just, uh, it was a hell of a team. Uh, he played it really well. Uh, so what did we do pretty well as well? So uh, paralysis was one thing. Um, that high dragon just to catch him off. Uh, get rid of that Sylveon. And kind of anything switching into it. Uh, it was just the slacking that got in the way of it. But everything else uh, kind of would have fallen victim to that high dragon. Uh, maybe another dragon dance or two and maybe and I could have got a KO on it. But unfortunately it didn't happen. Uh, the Scarf on the Great Tusk was... Uh, I mean, on paper is always a good option, but here didn't end up quite working as well because you had Scarf Gengar, uh, which kind of nullifies it, but does let it outspeed Gallade, I suppose. Um, Defog was a good shout on Rotom because we got rid of uh, Bronze on Stealth Rocks. Uh, Dragapult with Choice Specs just did its job really. Every 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 Pokemon on the team kind of did its job. Um, MVP wise, I want to give it to, uh, I mean, say like just spreading the, like this defensive utility core really, uh, really carried it for us. Um, High Dragon, just with the unpredictability of it. Um, wasn't Great Tusk's best game, but it did kind of carry game three, the end. I don't know, everyone did well. Okay, so. Next time we're up against the Season 3 Champion Plaz and the West Side Grafaye. Stay tuned for that game. It's going to come probably this weekend or early next week. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.